Beardo Benjo. Everyone who knows me knows I'm always striving for peak physical performance. I take great pride in my physique and maintaining my body to be the best athlete I can be. Now, over the last year in quarantine, um, I've managed to hit crazy new peaks I, I genuinely didn't think I would ever achieve. Um, my level of physical performance is far better now than it's ever, ever been. So, when I learned that there was a game coming out for the Quest called Rezzle Player 22, that aims to train and hone the skills of athletes like myself, I was overjoyed. So Rezzle isn't a new thing. They've been around for a little while. Rezzle Player 21 already exists in PC VR and is a piece of training software for mainly footballers who want to hone their skills. Obviously, like someone like me, an athlete, I, I don't usually need this kind of stuff, um, but I thought I would check it out on the Quest because I'm very intrigued. I want to find out how far they can push my skills, my already existing skills, with the the drills and the training routines that are built into this game. Now, Player 22 is coming out on the Quest sometime this summer, and it's mainly geared towards footballers again and people that want to increase their reflexes and build a little bit of a fitness routine into their day using Quest technology and VR. Now, mainly in this video, we'll be looking at the headers. We can practice some headers. Mm, gonna do some of that. Head that ball right into that bloody goal hole. Um, and I'm gonna be doing some reflex training and I'm gonna be doing some brick breaking, hitting a ball against a wall of bricks um, and smashing them. Let's check out Rezzle Player 22. This isn't really a game, more of a training app, but let's have some fun with it. Um, an athlete like myself really should have no problem getting to grips with this. Let's check it out. Hello there everyone and welcome to Rezzle Player 22. Now when I got given access to this game, I thought Rezzle might be the name of a football player. That's uh, how little I know about football, but please don't let that make you think I'm not an athlete. I am an absolute athlete, obviously. Look at this. Look at all this. Uh, today I'm going to be having a short look at this upcoming game. Now this is out sometime this summer. And I, is it a game? I don't really know. It's more of a training tool for athletes, for aspiring athletes, and people who just want to train and hone their craft at home in VR. So in this game in particular, it's all about training your headers. It's about your reflex timing. Um, and I'll just show you. So this game is basically built to train your accuracy and ball control when using headers in football. I know all about that stuff. So the game's broken down into basically three training uh, regimes. First up, you've got the headers. Now you can use control, which is you headering the ball through hoops, headering, headering or heading, heading, I guess. Uh, then you've got shooting, which is heading the ball into goals. Um, and then you've got a few DLC expansions that haven't uh, been added just yet. Hopefully they'll come when the game launches. Um, then you've got reaction wall. Now you can have a micro wall, so a tiny little wall in front of you. And you have to tap all the lights, a little bit like you do at the, uh, the fair. You know, fairs and carnivals, they normally have those little light things. Do -do 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 in the arcades. Uh, you can also have a 60 degree wall, a 180 degree wall, or a 360 degree wall. I will be trying that out in this video and probably dying. Uh, then finally, you've got Hoops Vision, which is a little bit like Beat Saber. Um, you have to hold an imaginary basketball in front of you and pop it through hoops in time to the music, like this, like I'm doing right now. Imagine there's some hoops there, it's great. So basically some dancing. Now I'm probably gonna have to mute the uh, music in this game um, outside of this menu screen because it all sounds like it was designed specifically to get me a uh, content claim. Um, so, so I'm gonna do that. I'll just put some fancy background music on there. Uh, there is also a, a, a game. See, this is what I mean about it not really being a game or more of a training suite because the bulk of the content falls under training. And that is what it's designed to do. It's designed to train, help you get faster, help you get stronger, and help you kind of work on your positioning, I guess, and the way you hold your body when you, you're trying to go for headers and things. Um, but then you go to back to the main menu, and you've got games. Now, games, this is actually a bit like um, Breakout. You have to knock a ball back at these kind of crates and break them, and these little robots shoot the balls to you, and you have to smash them over. That's a lot of fun. I want to see more of this kind of content when the game comes out, but I'll, I'll hit you with my kind of impressions near the end of the video. For now, Let's go into the training. 
and we'll start with some headers and we'll start with the control section. Uh, I'm on level three, look at that, I'm making amazing progress. Let's jump straight into level three. Oh. Welcome to the control drill. This series of training will help you develop your heading techniques, reaction times, and body shape. Develop in my heading technique. It doesn't need developing, mate. Starts, a ball will be passed to it you is superb. The portal. Then all you need to do is head it back, and the process repeats. Simple, so right? simple. Now, I've decided to start on level 1 rather than level 3, because this gives you a kind of understanding of what this game is trying to do with the control portion of the headers training module. Now... In here, this big circle is going to shoot a ball over to me, and I just need to head it back through the circle. The closer it is to the center, the higher the score I get. Now, this game does have leaderboards, so although it's primarily a training resource, you can compete against other people. So there's a competitive gamified element there if you're not too interested in the training or the fitness aspect. Um, just before we get started, though, this area is really nice looking for the quest. Like, some nice lighting. It It's... It makes me kind of wish someone would just do a proper VR football game. And I know there's probably a lot of complications there. You would need trackers on your feet. Um, but I'd like to see someone attempt it. At the very least. Even if it just uses touch controllers. We've got skateboarding to work really, really well. So can we just try and do football? Because I would run around in this big imaginary football pitch playing. I think that would be great. So, But all we can do here is headers. You will need to achieve at least a silver shield to progress to the next level. Mate, I'm going to achieve a gold luck, shield. Player. Here we go. Headers. Let's do this. Throw me some balls, please. Look, see, it's just pure talent. You know, oh, that's a bit high. That's a bit low. Now, <laughs> there is... Quite a lot of fun to be had in just <laughs> heading a ball in this game. Ugh! And I keep going to call it... Oh no, I've hit the bloody bar. Um, I keep going to call it a game. And really, it, it, it kind of isn't a game. Although I'm able to have fun here, I think content-wise, it's definitely a training tool and not a actual fun-to-be-had video game. Oh! Off the bloody post. So I've missed two, but I think I'm still, yeah, I'm still doing alright. That was a nice one. That was a nice one. Oh, that's very good. Now this is just the control section, so you're just shooting through hoops, but you can try shooting, and you'll be actually heading into a goal against a weird little cardboard goalkeeper. Oh, yes, look at that. Oh, it wasn't a gold. What? I missed two. I guess you can't miss any if you want the gold. How's that fair? On this level, you will need to scan up and down to direct the ball high or low. So then if we change it up a little bit and come to a higher difficulty level, there's now two hoops. Mental. Um, so you need to kind of judge and, and see where the ball's coming from first, and then I can choose to head it back through the top one if I can get the height on it or keep going through the low one. So come on. Give me some balls right in my face. Oh, I've missed both of them. That was terrible. Nice. Bottom one. Yes! <laughs> I actually quite enjoy this. Oh, in a really weird way. Hello, goalie. He looks like he plays for Ireland. Do Ireland have a green goalkeeper's kit? I think England have a green goalkeeper's kit. So, shows how much I know. Uh, this is the shooting practice for the headers portion of the game. Now, this is more my cup of tea because I've... I don't know, it just feels a bit more fun when I'm shooting at a goal. Um, so... That machine will shoot the balls at me, and again, I have to direct them into these... Shush! I have to direct them into these specific sections, so... Come on. Give me those balls. Right in my face. Oh, that was terrible. they still gone in! Right. Oh, that was, again, absolutely abysmal. That's going really high. Off the bar. Oh! Nearly really bloody good. That's going in. No, it's the bar again. Why is it the bar every... That's... I just missed. It's just... Uh, uh, okay, alright. <laughs> what? How can I... How am I hitting the bar? Every damn time. Yeah, that was perfect. Oh, yeah, okay, alright. Can I get in that one, do you reckon? That's going to be tougher. Oh, no. Sorry. Sorry, mate. Chuck us another ball. Oh! No, that was slow and rubbish. Oh, nearly... Nearly good. But also not nearly good at all. Come on, keep him coming. Ah, oh, why? I'm, I'm bloody good at hitting that bar. I'll tell you that for free. Come on. Hey, that was 
Oh, I got a... Oh, ow. Okay, so you, you don't really need to perform very well to get a medal in that one. Uh, let's go to the next level. What's going on here? Let's add in the opposition players. Who are these fellas? Come at you much faster, so you will have less time to react. Oh my god. See if you can still hit the targets, avoiding the red players. Okay, so we got some we got some other players coming for me now. They look like Sabutio players. They've been, been like expanded to life size, which is terrifying. They're not gonna come for me though, are they? They're just kind of blocking the way. Um da -da -da -da. Well, it's got I don't know, let's just find out. I'm still trying to score goals. Gimme the balls. Whoa! Oh, that was nearly amazing. Come on. That would still count as a goal. Like, uh, that's, yes. Very good, very good. Nearly, but not quite. Oh, mate, directing it is, is the hardest thing for me. Maybe I do need this software. Oh, sorry, fella. Oh, oh bloody bar. Why? Why am I just the bar pro? Jesus Christ. That's nice. That's a good one. Now, you can... I appreciate my form is abysmal here. But you can use a tool whoop, that kind of sh frames and shows you where you kind of want to be pulling the pulling your head to, I guess. Or, like, you frame the ball and you push your head kind of through it, I guess. I think that's what this is designed to be. Can't make head it in. That was a perfect setup. Oh! Well, that was abysmal. I still got I still got a thing. Don't scream unlucky at me, you weird American. Now something they've done really well in this game is make the environments look absolutely wonderful. <laughs> For a quest game, they, they they look great. I mean, it's a shame I can't go over there and experience this stuff, play with the punching bag, get in the boxing ring, hit up one of the punch bags. I, you know, I wanna I wanna go and muck around with all this stuff. They've built some really nice environments, but what you do in them is a little bit static. Now this is the reaction wall. Now, you probably would have seen one of these um, if you've gone to an arcade. You just tap the red buttons as they pop up. Now, I'm out of shape and slow. So, much like my headers, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't expect much from me. How, how high as I can? Is that high? Sh oh, okay. Give me buttons. Beep, beep. Okay, this is actually really fun. Imagine doing this with the 360 wall one. I'm going to try it. Now, something like this really would get your blood pumping. So you could work this into a daily routine quite easily. Maybe alongside some other VR fitness apps. I should have wore, like, a Fitbit or something. Tracked my calorie loss. Yeah, look at that. 318 milliseconds. Is that fast? I don't know, but it's got a green arrow, so that's got to be good. Eighth in the world. Oh my god. Oh my god. How am, oh, uh, how am I supposed to find these in good time? Oh my sweet Jesus Lord. Mercy me. Hello? Oh, I'm not fast here. How are you supposed to be fast at this? I'm just going to get dizzy. That's all that's going to happen. Hello? Beep, beep, beep. Just keep spinning around. Uh, I think this normally would have some pumping music on in the background, but uh, I, say I turned all that off because I'm certain it's just built to demonetize me. Uh, plus, there's a, the song when you're doing the headers. is this really annoying song about a man who's a cameraman. And he doesn't develop feelings, he develops film. And it, it just keeps singing that one song over and over again, and it's driving me insane. Am I facing the camera, do you think? What are the bets? I bet I'm bloody not. I am! That's cool. I like that. Set my reach. Pull a trigger. Okay, so this one is basically like the Beat Saber type thing. But I've turned the music off, so... Now, normally, you'd be doing this to the rhythm of music. <laughs> but because I turned the music off, it's just me dancing to nothing. Maybe we should sing a song about it. I'm holding my basketball and I'm putting it through the hoops, through the red one, yeah. Um, so <laughs> this is kind of like a Beat Saber style thing. Now, I think this would work really well if I was actually holding a basketball because then you'd get the weight of the ball and that would kind of make this a more intense workout. At the moment, though, it is still pretty intense. 
And with the music, it is a lot of fun, but, uh, you know, no music for you guys, because you don't deserve it, to be honest. Come on now, get through the hoops, you absolute shit. Ah, it's so weird without the music. It's actually kind of ominous. Why are these circles coming for me? I'm smashing this, though. Look at that. This is a proper workout. I might leave this bit without any music in the background, because that's funnier to me anyway. And ultimately, I'm just trying to make myself laugh, so... Whoa! Yes! I am a vision of fitness. Absolute peak performance. <sighs> okay, now this is the last piece of content. So the game's broken down into these four sections. You've got the headers, you've got the reaction time wall, you've got the Beat Saber-esque basketball hoop game, and then you've got this, which is a bit like Breakout. This is probably the closest thing to an actual game in here. Um, everything else is very fitness oriented, but this is actually just smacking a ball at a wall. Oh, if I could actually aim the bloody thing. And uh, trying to break the bricks. Oh, I'm so rubbish. There. There. Yes. Get in there. Oh, he's done it. Now, this one's actually really fun. I could spend loads of time in here, and there's loads of different levels of varying difficulties. Come on. Now, obviously, it still has a fitness aspect, but it's more of a game than everything else that's in here in Rezzel. Oh, straight back at you, mate. Straight back at you. Nice. Yes. Just one. Just one to go. Didn't really hit that one, but it's okay. I'll take the win. Oh, you're starting to get fancy now, are you? Built a whole wall. Very nice. Come on, I can handle it. Oh, I can't. I've missed. Oh, very nice. Yeah, I actually really like this one. I played this one for quite a bit uh, last night when I was testing the game out. Oh! And I can see this being a lot of fun. I think my main thing with this game is where does it fit in with the other fitness products currently on the market? There's a lot of great VR fitness games. And competing in that, competing in that market is tough. Especially when this is very... I guess serious is probably the best way to put it. This one's quite serious. It focuses on less of the gamifying of the mechanics, whereas a lot of other fitness games in VR, like O-Shape, like, like Beat Saber, many others that I cannot remember the name for, are popular as fitness games because they're so fun. The gamifying part is just so engaging. This feels like it's built more for athletes than everybody. And, and that's where I'm not sure if Rezzle will appeal to everyone. I also think it does need a bit more content. I think it's a little content light at launch. Um, but there are some DLC options that are currently locked. be interesting to know how much you have to pay for those. Come on, is that the best you got? Take that. And again. That one down, the, down there is annoying me. Yeah. Oh, I did not hit it that way. Oh, oh too far. Oh my god, I'm not going to get it. Ten seconds. I'm not going to get it. No! Four! Come on. Nah, I just got it at the end there. What a shit. I guess before we wrap up, let's have a little look at some other bits and bobs you've got in here. So there's also a, a locker. And in the locker, you can change the ball. Now, currently, there's other options, but they are locked. And it does say included in kit pack. So I do have a sneaking feeling this game is going to be filled with DLC transactions. But I can't speak on that until I've seen them and I've seen the pricing. I mean, right now, I don't know why you'd feel the desperate need to change the ball. Um, that one's fine at the end of the day. A ball is a ball. I can change it to red, though. That's nice. Let's go with the red one. Uh, and then you can also change your uh, gloves as well. So lots of different types of gloves. Oh, boxing gloves. Can I wear those? What a ridiculous thing to have. Let's have some boxing gloves on, shall we? And then the same again for the basketball. Let's go with the pink one. And same for the ball in the... I think this is the brick-breaking game. Again, let's go pink. So you can change the, um, change the look of your gloves and the balls. But really, the game is built around these three training courses and spending time in here every day to work through the levels to get the highest score possible. Get a bit of a workout going, get your blood pumping. Certain elements of this did get my blood going, the reaction wall did, and so did the hoops vision. That is a lot of fun, 
but I think, you know, Beat Saber's better. There are better rhythm games. If you actually held a ball there, and I don't know if you could whilst also holding the touch controllers, that could be a really good workout, but you'd have the weight of the ball, but I don't know if you can do that. Let's finish off with some absolutely glorious headers with my boxing gloves on. Shut up, don't teach me. I know what I'm doing. All right, come on, I'll box you up, son. All right, let's do this. Oh, that was quite nice. I'm a bit far away, though, a bit far away, a bit far away. Come on, I'm going to pass this level. I'm going to do it. Every single one. Oh, except for that one. It's going straight in the goal. That's the only one that's going to miss. That's the freebie. That one doesn't count. Come on, next one. This gun's ah, straight in. Yes, right, beautiful. This one, right there. No, too far. But in theory, that's where it went. Oh, off the bar. It's going, oh, no. I'm not built for, for football. Where'd that go? Oh, no. Bring the thing. Oh, too, too late. What's that little dilling noise for? It's quite. I'm, I'm, I've gone. I've gone rubbish. I can't even bloody hit the balls. Oh, that's a good one. I do. I do like the headers. I think this is fun. Um, I wish the players were a little bit more animated rather than just giant Sabutio players. But I think that's more just my my desire for a proper VR football game coming through. Get in there, son. One more. Don't know where that went. Evaporated. That's probably my best score so far. Hey, not bad. I don't want to try again. Thanks very much, though. This has been Rezzle Player 22 running on the Quest 2, coming later this summer. Part of what I think could be a good fitness regime, probably not a great fitness game in and of itself, because there might not be quite enough content. And I don't think for the average gamer, it's gamified enough to keep them engaged. But for athletes, people that want to practice headers, people that want to practice their form and use this alongside other fitness apps, I think there's a great application here. I just want to see it get some more content. I am going to change my top because I'm a little bit sweaty now. This video might only be like 20 minutes, but I've been playing for like an hour and a half. So it ain't nice. And I'm not in peak physical condition. I'm lazy and I have a bit of a belly from eating all that chocolate. Uh, take care of yourselves, guys. I'll see you soon for another one. God, the boxing gloves are so weird. What's that about? Can you punch the ball? Can you punch the... Can you punch okay. the ball? Can we punch the ball? Can I just punch it into the goal? Maradona! Oh my god, you can't! Maradona! You can't punch it far, though. It doesn't really matter what, what you do with it. Oh, it does. It does. It's got a... No, you can't punch it that far. Nah. Nah. Let's just score one more. One more for the lads. Thanks very much. Right. Oh, come on. Head it back. Lazy. Oh, that was quite nice. I guess you meant to like... Oh, that was... Went over his leg. It was bloody perfect, mate.